position. Mm -hmm. And if we have this one done, you can see. So Peter, the reason why we're using this tool is because the level is too big to measure the wall at the bottom. But at the top, it is quite a bit off. Lu Yi took a picture of it, and it'll be part of the report. So this was more accurate than the level. This is the use of the natural gravity force to show the plan. OK? All right, so let me put a tape in here so we can, uh, the metal tape, so we can know off. Okay. If uh, they are more than an inch, that's the issue need uh, repairing. If uh, they just uh, like half inch or three quarter, we can live with with it, you know. But if uh, too big, we have to do where's my some mitigation. Yeah. Okay. Great, Peter. I'll start recording again in a moment. Uh, I mean, the college. You go to the the, the internship. You go to the construction site. So they are doing. All the building in China, there's uh, the masonry building. Uh huh. This one, you can see all of them. Just the uh, majority is a masonry building, like say five story, eight story residential. They use uh, the masonry to break. So they use this one to uh, control the plan. Wow. Control the plan. Okay. About two inch. So is the pipe though getting in the way to push the? String out? Oh, yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Is it possible? Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, Lu Yi is also going to take... We, we might ask the, the thickness of this, uh, the... <clears throat> so, this one... Would you subtract the full thickness of the pipe, or does it... Just minus this, the, the thickness of this one. Oh, okay, that's smart. So use my, okay. So, he wrapped it around... So, this one, we, so that it will go around the pipe, but then we can. Yeah. He can. So now it's uh, about like three inch. So now I need to measure that. I need to minus that. Okay, the width of the yeah. item in which. Yeah. So this traditional tool is even better, more flexible than the level. Perfect. So this uh, now we are showing three inch. Then I just need to see what's the size of this one here. Put it in here. It's inch That's and a half. inch and a half. So that means that we have an inch and a half. Um, Boeing. Yeah. Okay, a Boeing of an inch and a half. And a half. Let's double check again, see if we are not to make a mistake. Okay. Just like what you found. I it's love like double checking. Up. Yes. Yeah, so. Do you want to use something with a different width? This one's okay. No? You know okay. This one's an inch and a half, so that's... Uh, I can use this one. Okay, we're just doing it again, Peter. I'll give you the results. Our building code, uh, the allowable, the wall is tilting or bulging, is no more than 1 over 120. That means uh, 1 inch over 10 feet. So mm -hmm. if the wall is 10 foot tall, you have a 1, in, one inch auto plan that's acceptable. We call the construction tolerance. Okay. Um, everything more than that. Actually, we only have 8 feet, it's not 10 feet. Right. We have a How less, tall is this? It's typically eight feet. Let me measure this one. I think it's a little bit. This one is a little bit higher. This is higher. Taller than eight. Probably like, it might so be nine. So let's say if that's 10 feet, then 10 feet would be a lot of so one inch, one inch over 120 inches. Okay. So that's the... the but the we're position. already over that because we're 1.5 inch inches. Inch and a half. We're, yeah, inch and a half. Right. Yeah. So that's a, why the, that's why this uh, the, uh, the, they have a horizontal crack because uh, one, the wall poached, the inside face will carry the tension force, mm -hmm. the outside will under compression. Mm -hmm. When the tension, typically the motor and the, the even so is concrete, then they will easily to a broken. Mm -hmm. Then that cause the crack. Now this is concrete block. <coughs> uh, is that more flexible or less flexible than just poured concrete? Uh, this is more we call it uh, brittle. It's easy to uh -huh. crack than concrete. 
Then, uh, okay, so both, um, poured concrete would have a little more flexibility yeah, then. Yeah, concrete is better. The motor, because of the, the, the masonry, that's a piece by piece. The concrete is uniformly they poured. Okay. It's like more. Um, now, Lu Yi, mm -hmm. this crack goes, you can see from here, but it, there seems to be some cracking along the back wall. Is this the same issue? Same issue. Okay. Yeah, because of uh, the soil pressure. You see, there's no, no crack on the other side because there's no, no backing, no pressure. Right. Let me see, where's another tool to measure the, to measure the, the crack? So, yeah, we're going to measure the crack and, and then the, toler the tolerance here is to know what, what kind of fix it needs. But is it possible to fix it just from the outside, like with the landscaping or taking soil away from some, away from the... Yeah, there's a couple of solutions. Let, let me see the option number one. More costly is doing this one from outside. You will remove the dirt. Uh -huh. Then uh, you release the pressure. How much do you know back. how you'll calculate how much dirt would need to be removed or does I will, in my report I will not give you that much detail. Okay. I just give you the recommendations. Okay. See the option one is uh, do from outside, you remove the soil, then uh, push the wall back, then uh, uh, you can do the reparging so you have the waterproofing. Uh huh. Uh, also Oh the and reason, then you can bring the soil back because yeah, you've reparged it. The the reason the wall is pushed in is uh, the, the excessive or the extra lateral pressure. Yes. That pressure is uh, come from uh, water. The, the, uh, the soil plus the water. So uh, the way you're doing it from outside is uh, you can use that opportunity. You are dig down. Then you can install the drain pipe. So, so a French drain would help in this. The water away because yeah. uh, the wall is only designed to carry the soil weight. Okay. Not the soil, what we designed is 60 pounds per square foot lateral pressure. Yeah. But the soil, uh, the, the water density is another 62.4 pounds per cubic feet. Okay. So every foot deep, you use 60 times the, the depth that equal to the lateral pressure. Yeah. That's the extra from the water. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Li Yi. Okay, so the crack, let's see. It's about uh, 0 0.04 inches or one millimeter. Okay, I said yeah. I've estimated it too big. <laughs> the looks like there's a, maybe they just paint, so we didn't see the major the water stain or something uh, because of the paint. Uh, or if they have the uh, you know disclosed to say there's a water leaking before. Do we know that? Well, look at here. Here's some. Some water leaking? Well, it looks wet. Well, it's not wet. It's yeah, like I can that. check the, the, the moisture content on the wall. Let me check the crack. So this is the mud crack and this is the other wall. Yeah, it's like a stair step. Yeah, we call the step down. Step, oh, that's what it's Step down, step up, right? Some people use this word in the... This one is less Libby. crack. This is about uh, like 0.5 millimeter. Much smaller. The light wasn't working here when we were here before. Then they have a beam cross here. That's the part. Okay. Alright, so. Should we film that question. I have a whole picture for this. Hold on, I'm pausing, Peter. <laughs> 